Any notable updates to Imperium? Uh, since the last time we messed with it? Well, I noticed Not you really. popped on it a little while, yeah. Uh, that's because Crunch and I have been working on a server. Ah, gotcha. Uh, together, so, um... What the... What the... What the... How the hell did I just end up... What... Weird. I was down here mining, and all of a sudden I'm just yanked out of the hole and bouncing around up top. Oh, and now we're saving. That was really weird. Uh, pretty much the the one of the big things in Empyrean that mm -hmm. they're making a big deal about uh, them getting right is the ability to have pressurized environments in space and on planets. Oh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people don't real that swear by Imperium over space engineers. Say that again. You broke up in between it. A lot of people that swear by Imperium uh, over space engineers. Mm -hmm don't realize that Space Engineers had, now has a lot of the stuff that Imperium had. Or, yep. I mean, vice versa, whatever. Right. The uh, the block aesthetic in Imperium's a bit weird. Yeah. The the big thing is that Imperium actually has over Space Engineers is its multiplayer stability. Yeah. But they have not attempted anything as complex as some of the things in Space Engineers, so... Right, and I still can't get over their building and deconstruction system. I really hope they change that soon. I should need oh. ammunition to fire at something that I'm trying to deconstruct, like a gun. Yeah. Sorry. That's kind of silly. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, there's two loads of nickel. There's silicon out there. Uh... I still need cobalt. I think I know where that cobalt was because I think we, or I think I saw it on the way out of the iron pit when we had to hoof it over here. Okay. So we'll stop at a few splotches and a beeline to the iron. Which I probably should have gotten a new tank before I do that. Maybe a couple since I'm scouting. Uh, no. This is going to be the, uh, well, the hinge. Okay. Points. For the door. Gotcha. So, why is ice not showing up? I don't know. It's been broken for quite some time. At least. Well, sometimes it shows up. Which is really weird to me, but, yeah. nothing under here, and that was just a random dark splotch that... No! That's gold! Sweet! It's just very, very far down. Gold! No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, why? That didn't sound good. I rubber banded off of the ledge. That sucks. Uh-huh. We need to come up with a good bunker name for this. Hey, cool. Bunker name? Yeah, we we have Avicii and Helheim. We need to come up with a name for this place. Um. Uh, what was that name I had today? Uh, not sure I'm going to pronounce it right. Uh, Hetheg Call. H A T H E G. Hyphen K L A. Okay. That's not the name I was thinking, but I'll run with it. Which one are you thinking about? Because uh, that's the actual uh, mountain that they were dancing upon. Ah. Uh, uh, the town was a. Uh, Cadith, I think. Well, I have disconnected um, 
the main base from the uh, the rim for in a uh, where I haven't laid blocks down, so right. maybe it'll start working on the nearby stuff. Right. Well, I mean, you want to figure out where you want to place that next uh, foundry and let Yogg start building it? Yeah, I can. Because uh, I can continue making the resource trips. I've okay. already, I'm already in the mindset that this is going to be a short week anyway. And uh, I can go ahead and do the resource trips. I'm trying to think where the best place to put it would be for me. I was thinking about skipping straight ahead to the Call of Cthulhu, but I want to get some of his older works out of the way. Because mm -hmm. I think I've already read Dagon. I uh, finished uh, the shorter, the, well, the one I just said, the old gods. Finished yeah. that one. Um, that was actually not an easy read. It's very long-winded in information, and it's a little hard to follow. For me, anyway. It's like he's got a fetish at over-explaining things. And really old words at that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get some of the silicon. Alright. Granted, the man was writing in like 1912, 1920, wasn't he? Uh-huh. So, yeah. He was probably using words that were old to him at the time, so... Holy crap. Mm -hmm. Earthquake. Oh, another one? A uh, big one. Wow. Like, it's... I'm still feeling the aftershocks. Jeez. Oh, I'm froze. Wow, thanks, game. That could have killed me. I am really glad that what few um, earthquakes that the northern northern side of Georgia will get sometimes, we don't ever feel. <laughs> uh, my sister, who lives in Norwood, which is near Augusta, she feels them occasionally. Oh, fun. Yeah. Ah, right there. Okay. Are those just blocks behind it, or the, uh... What you the... So okay, I there, see the conveyors some there. Are... I gotcha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Uh, do you already have it piped up, or is it just sitting Yeah, there? it's piped up. I just haven't plugged it all together. Okay. Well, since it's there, you want me to turn Yogg back on and let him do his deal? Sure. Use the symbols. He is turned on. Uh -huh. I guess I never got him off. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I let that door stay shut. Or rather, I shut it for you. It cracked open. Those yeah. don't belong in there. But those really belong. I think my air conditioner's on this last legs. <laughs> Makes really weird noises on occasion. Mine does that. Okay. Yogg is starting to actually work again. Cool. And we want to trigger the timer. Where's the timer? Right there. On four. Trigger now. And if we trigger now... All that should come on. You should be open. You should be pressurizing. Yep. And you should be off. Good. Although that happened all instantaneous, and I thought there would have been a delay. How do we set the delay? In between all of those? Uh, you increase the timer. I uh, set at 10 seconds. Okay. Or is that 10 milliseconds? Well, that's 10 seconds. Because that was almost instantaneous, everything. 
Uh, can you actually space them apart in the bar to increase their length before they change? Uh, no. Okay. So let's close that back and hit that again. Yes, yeah, so that's all, almost all inst. Okay. Maybe not. It's probably just a light weirdness. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, well, it it, it's an instant it, change. It's, 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 it was delayed. It was just uh, it was just the uh, the highlight kind of hiding things. Huh. So if we're going to close that. I'm going to go into here. And set up actions. Timer. There. The trigger now. So from here, I would trigger it. And this is now green. It would be letting me out. This should be depressurizing. Yes. And this should be green. And it is. You're a good teacher. You know that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll put this one on one because it's closer to the door. Trigger now. So it's green. I can walk in. Boo da boo da boo. Bam. Trigger. It would be pressurizing and out the door I go. Awesome. Okay, we've got a smart airlock over here now. And I'm going to turn down the brightness on these lights because we don't need everything looking green. Okay. It'll still show up okay. green, but yeah. Oh! Oh, crap! What the hell? I got it to work. Yeah! And you didn't see it play the hula hoop either, did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay. So what was, uh, what was holding it back? I had to actually, the rotors had to move to displace. Oh, so you had a, okay. That's strange, but okay. How many of these hinges are you going to put on here? Uh, two per door. Okay. At the minimum. Okay. Uh, uh, one project I saw so that they would actually have some level of thrust to them, I actually put thrusters on them. But yeah. We're out of the I was gonna. So. I was gonna put that on the doors itself. Okay. Oh dear. Hmm? No hydrogen. Oh uh, yeah, ran out of hydrogen. At least I didn't die this time. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're back. Um, as you can see, I'm still fighting with the uh, hinge. With Just the This is bothering me. So, um, we've actually done a lot of work around the uh, hole. Things are still being built, and Fuzzy did mining. A lot of mining. And our whole gun emplacement is up, which actually looks pretty cool when it's firing at the meteorites. And they're doing their job well. Yep. Um, we're getting... Eventually we'll have everything picked up and welded together and everything for um, uh, our next uh, nanite factory down there. Uh, we'll have areas pressurized, which is what Fuzzy was working on at the beginning. And, I mean, we've got a lot of blocks laid out. Um, Yogg needs to finish uh, welding stuff together. Mm -hmm. and, and to do that, he needs materials, which we're always running out of. Right. So, probably our next major thing, especially if we can't get the hinge working... 
is to build a uh, resource gatherer. So that'll be our next uh, major task or semi-major task or major mistake or whatever we want to call it. Yep. And maybe next time we'll roll a one and not have to deal with asteroids or meteors, rather. Well, that's pretty cool with them blowing up in our in the background as we <laughs> yes. sign out. So yes, it is. And we're saving. Yeah. So, and you're just forever floating off now. I'm floating away on your screen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, you back down. We, we ho now you're floating away on mine. Ay. Well, anyway, before the world ends. Um, we hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead. Um, let us know in the comments below. Check out, uh, if you're following on my page, check out Fuzzies and vice versa. Likewise, yes. Um, and I've, uh, I will, I guess we will see you next time. So until then, bye bye Good night, everybody. And Where he's I, back. Where did I go? I'm, I'm bouncing below. You you arrived back on top on mine. I don't mind. I'm on a trampoline down below. Ah. <laughs> uh.